Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video we are going to be solving a power factor problem. So we are given here a load of 2.8 MVA at 0.7 power factor lagging. We added a capacitor bank at 3 MVA to the load and the question here is what is the new overall the new system the new system power factor. So what are my knowns and my unknowns? So we have a load, SL, which is comprised of, of course, PL and um, JQL. And that's given as 2.8 uh, MVA at cosine of theta, which we haven't calculated yet. But we will, uh, based off the given uh, 0.7 power factor lagging. So we have a we have added a cap bank um, at 3 MVA. So the total system power factor, if we know that, then we will able to derive the um, uh, power factor of the system, uh, total system. So um, I do have a uh, cosine of theta is 0.7 so we can calculate the angle here uh, 0.7 so inverse cosine of 0 0.7 that's 45 57 degrees so in order for me to convert this expression here 2p and q, I have to calculate it as, so p l is sl cosine of theta, which is sl is 2.8 mva times 0.7, and that gives me 196. And the unit, of course, we got to follow um, the uh, whatever is given so we have MVA here so the unit here for the power is uh, megawatts for QL same thing as L sine of theta so this is 2.8 times cosine of 4557 and plug that into the calculator we have 2 M bar So, so we have that um, for the load. So what about the capacitor, the cap bank? So we know that um, capacitors, they, they contribute, um, they generate uh, reactive power. And um, so we are going to add that, the reactive power that the cap is, is contributing to the load, which will give us the entire uh, system MVA, which we can then derive the uh, the power factor. So the system total is equal to. Let me use a different color just to switch it up. This is equal to uh, the S load plus the cap S. But we know that this is going to be a reactive power because that's what the cap is going to be contributing. So this is going to be equal to um, your P is 196 for the SL plus J2. And because uh, it's capacitive load uh, is going to be negative uh, J3. And everything is uh, in mega, so this is megawatts, m bar, and m bar. So we are good with units. We don't have to convert anything. And so this is my s total. So now s total is uh, 196 minus uh, j1. So this is my total uh, system MVA. And of course, from here, you can then uh, derive, uh, you know, uh, your uh, 
pow factor, the converter that's on the calculator, you know, when you want to go from uh, rectangle form to polo form, that's easier actually, minus 1j, and then I'm converting that to uh, expression here, that's 2.2, yes, it's a lot easier, minus 27 degrees. So power factor was what was asked, so cosine of minus 27. That's 0.89. So this is about 0.9. Now, is it leading or is it lagging? That's the real question here. <laughs> so here we have a negative Q. So our load is capacitive because we've added a cap bank. So we know that it's going to be leading, right? Um, if you had a inductive load, uh, your Q is positive, then um, your power factor would be, uh, would, be, would be lagging. But in this case, your Q is negative. You have a cap uh, capacitive um, system. You've added more Qs, uh, and so your uh, power factor is then um, leading. So this is the right answer, is A, 0.9 leading power factor. People get confused with leading and lagging, but that's just how you, you're going to remember it. Cap capacitive versus inductive. Is your Q positive, your, is your Q negative? So if your Q is negative, then you have a leading power factor, but if your Q is positive, you have a lagging power factor. And remember, um, capacitors, they do generate uh, reactive power, so they contribute reactive power to the system. All right, so uh, that's it for today. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you.